YouTube. All right, so welcome back. This is um, Super Beginner Logic Pro X. All right, um, tutorials. All right, so this is the second one. All right, so in the first one, I showed you guys how to have um, two tracks, right? So when you load up Logic Pro X um, and you open two tracks, and it normally would be like this on a default, where they have like, um, if you notice this button up here, um, this shows you all your instrument, and if you click it, it goes away. All right, we need it open so we can choose what instrument we want, all right? So right now we only have one instrument um, track open, even though we did two last, um, last video. But I forgot to um, show you guys, you need to have sounds within Logic Pro X. So if you didn't download all the sounds um, and you open Logic Pro X and you don't have your sounds, then you have to go to Logic up, up to the top right here, top left corner, click on Logic Pro X, and then you're gonna go to Sound Library, and then you're gonna download all the essential sounds. All right? Or you're gonna say Install Sound Library. Um, now remember, all that sound library gonna go on your internal hard drive. So if you have a computer that don't have like a big hard drive, um, try and download all the sounds on an external hard drive, which would have to be our next video. Um, but for right now, I have all these sounds downloaded on my laptop. So it's on my internal uh, hard drive. All right, so let's go. Now we have the instrument track. We're gonna choose an instrument. Let's go with a guitar. Uh, go with the acoustic guitar. And you notice it, the, the picture change. So now we have a guitar right there. Um, let's click out of that. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to record. Because now we have up the um, instrument and now we're ready to, to record. All right. So when you're recording, you want to have it like looped. So what I would go up here and do is you see this section where it says one, two, three, four, five. Uh, click that section, section and it's going to have um, up to four, four bars right there and it's going to just loop. So if I press, to press play, you press the space key, and it's going to play, but we didn't record anything yet, and then it's just going to keep looping just like that, all right? So remember, if you don't have a keyboard, something like a MIDI keyboard, go to Window, uh, Open, show music typing and then your keyboard will come up like this all right and then you can hear sounds you can use um, your keyboard to play the chords all right so what we're going to do now is record um, if you notice up up here i have one, two, three, four, clicked. And then this is called the metronome. Sometimes I have it on and sometimes I don't if I'm going to record with a keyboard, but it's just to um, keep you in, what you call, keep you in time. But if you don't need it, you can click it off, right? And then the one, two, three, four is when you're, you're going to record it's going to chime you in. So it's going to one, two, three, four, and then you can record. All right. So to get this out of the way, though, let me tell you guys, I'm not a keyboardist. All right. So if you have your MIDI keyboard right here, 
you can use this or you can use your laptop. All right? So because I have a MIDI keyboard right here, I'm going to use this. So let me click out of this. And then you can either press record up here, follow the mouse, record up here, or you can press R, which is a shortcut on your laptop to record. All right? So let's record something. Two, three. So, remember I told you guys I'm not a keyboardist. So I played four cards a while ago. Um, and you say, but that's off. Let's play it. So you're saying to yourself, maybe that's off. Uh, and you want to change that. Double click it. So you click on this track, you double click, and then this will come up, which is called um, the piano roll, where you can try and fix it. And that's what I'm going to try and write now. So if you notice, they're not, they're not necessarily on, on point or on, on each bar. We'll want them on each bar. So Highlight, which is you're going to um, click your keyboard, your keyboard, your mouse, and you're going to drag it over these. And then you're going to go to function right here. It should work. Hopefully it worked. Go to function, click that, and then quantize note. So that didn't work. So now I have to literally manually Highlight this chord and drag, hold on. Highlight the chord and drag it to where it's supposed to go. Highlight it and drag it. How come it now? All right. So if it's not working that way, I normally go up to window and then open piano roll. Right here. That way you get a bigger picture. Then I'd highlight this and drag it. Drag it where it's supposed to go, right there. Highlight this chord and drag it to where it's supposed to go. And I think everything should be in tune now. So let's play that. Um, so that's the chords right there. Now let's say you want to record something else. Um, let's say you want to record another track. You go all the way up top here. There's two ways. You, there's a plus sign right here where you can add a track. So let me add that. Software. Create. And you create another track. Another way you could do it is go up to track, click track, and then click new track. And that will add another track. So we have this so far. All right. What if you want a different instrument? Um, you go over here, and then you can, um, let's see, let's pick a different instrument, basic, uh, keys, uh, let's see, let's just pick something, sign bells, all right, sign bells, let's hear that sound. All right, 
if you don't want to play the keys, I'm going to show you guys a trick. All right. You have the acoustic guitar. You played the chords. I want you to click shift. So click shift. Click, um, not shift, sorry. Is it option? Click shift. Highlight it and bring it down. Actually, no. It's option. Click option. If you have, um, if you have a, a MacBook, click option. Click option. Highlight the chords you just played. Drag it down. And you made a copy. Now you have sign bells playing the same chords. And then what I normally do is I open window, go to piano roll, and then this is going to come up. And these are your sign bells right here. Here, that's the sign bells. Highlight, and then you can have them shorter like this. Or, or you can just highlight it and make the keys shorter. And then you just use the same notes and try and mix it up. If you're not a keyboard player. If you're a keyboard player, then you can do whatever you need to do on the MIDI keyboard and play your notes. But I'm not a keyboardist. I'm just showing you guys how I use Logic Pro X. These are my tutor tutorials on how I use Logic, all right? So you can drag this note here. I can drag this note here, just to make it simple. Do the same thing with this one. Drag this here. Drag this note all the way over. And you just do that for this, all of the chords. So let's do the same thing. Drag it over here. And then you drag this one over here. And then the same thing for the last chord. Drag this over here. And then you drag this one over here. And that's it. Um, let's hear all that sound. So yeah, we record the chords and we recorded, um, you'd say the same chords, but we just move the notes. That's the simplest way I think I can do it um, for this tutorial. All right, so that's it you know, for right now. I think the next one we're gonna go through, we're gonna add some drums, all right? So for right now, we did the chords, and we did the notes, and I showed you guys how to record, all right? So we can go over it again. We have the track. You, got, you have um, all the instruments over here. Choose the instrument that you want to record. Um, press record up here, and you can use your keyboard, which is your laptop keyboard, or you can use a keyboard like this to record, all right? So remember, like and subscribe to the channel, all right? And share these videos, all right? Cause I just, whatever I know, I just want to show you guys. So it's a beginner tutorial, like and subscribe and share, share the channel, all right? So until the next video, I'm out.